What a horrible name choice. How does purple even relate to a crocodile? What happened to the lion theme? I don't get it. Alrighty, um, so I'm finally releasing my analysis of Iron Gwazi, um, which was announced for Bush Gardens Tampa all the way up in Florida. Bless them, they don't get to experience a cold winter like we do here. Um, but nonetheless, Iron Gwazi has been announced. We still don't fully know the entire, like, we don't have, like, an entire blueprint of the coaster, um, which is a little sad. I was kind of looking forward to that. I really wanted to see an entire layout. Um, but nonetheless, even without knowing the entire layout, I can comfortably say that this is going to be the best new coaster for 2020 in North America at minimum, um, which is super awesome. And I honestly have to come out and say I do love the design. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks like it's going to be fantastic. Obviously, it's nowhere close to Steel Vengeance from what I'm seeing. But um, nonetheless, it looks like it's going to be a top tier RMC coaster, and I'm definitely super excited to get down there and ride it. It's definitely going to get me down there to go ride it as well. And that's all that matters and all that counts in the end. Um, I know that there's been a lot of criticism online about the name choice, the color scheme, and kind of like the theme with the crocodile versus the lion. Um, from what I'm seeing, a lot of people are confused by the iron in the name. Um, and they're confused by the purple and how it relates to a crocodile. And I'm going to try and make sense of this to the best of my ability. Um, the park themselves haven't come out and really made too much sense of the name choice and all that, other than sticking to um, kind of like the original name of the coaster. But um, I do have a couple of ideas in my head to defend the coaster. And I definitely think that um, the route that they should go down, if they're not going down that route, could help explain everything. Um, but I definitely wanted to say um, enthusiasts for a long time have been saying that they're kind of sick of the whole twisted and steel in these RMC hybrid coaster conversions. Um, so I think that finally having, you know, iron, I get it. The coaster's not made out of iron um, as a name choice, Iron Gwazi. It definitely differentiates itself from those twisted and steel names that have been used in a lot of those RMCs. And I'm just glad to see a unique name. Um, Zodra is a unique name, and I love that as well. And I definitely think that Iron Gwazi um, fits in. And we also have to understand that the average general public aren't going to sit here and be like, um, Gwazi is not made out of iron. Iron Gwazi doesn't make sense. They're going to see iron and they're going to assume metal and they're going to see metal and they're going to be like, oh, okay, makes sense. So for the general public, Iron Gwazi is fine. The name looks great. I definitely love the logo. I know I've seen some criticism online about the logo and the train design, but I have to say I absolutely love Iron Gwazi's logo. I do like the crocodile theme. I know it doesn't really make sense, but I love it. I love the lead car on Arms, uh, RMC Gwazi. Iron Gwazi, we finally have a name. Definitely love the lead car. I think it looks really unique, and I'm getting Louisiana vibes from this coaster, which definitely is one of the routes that I would love to see them explore to explain the purple and the theme and all that. Um, super excited though. Um, I definitely love um, the color scheme. So I know purple doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense for the coaster that it used to be. It doesn't make sense for a crocodile theme coaster. Um, but I'm going to start to explain what I think could be going on here. So I love the purple. Um, it stands out in the skyline. It's definitely very attractive. And before we knew the name Iron Gwazi, most enthusiasts were in love with the purple color scheme. So I don't think that we should be angry about the color scheme or upset about the color scheme now that we know the name. Um, and I definitely think that a Louisiana theme to this coaster with the crocodiles and, you know, purple and those bright colors that Louisiana is known for could help explain and kind of like bring this all together as a storyline. So I would love to see them like retheme that whole area. I don't know the area, maybe it already is. So correct me down below if I'm screwing up at all describing Bush Gardens Tampa, but I would love to see the little midway area themed Louisiana and maybe some Louisiana restaurants and uh, just bringing that whole Louisiana vibe to this coaster um, would help correlate the storyline that they are trying to convey with the theme, the color, and everything. So that would be super awesome. Uh, comment down below if you completely disagree or if you kind of agree with what I'm trying to say. Um, I think that Louisiana could help bring everything together. And hopefully I'm not triggering anyone. I just think that that would be something really awesome to see over at Busch Gardens Tampa. Um, it is definitely, as I said earlier, still going to be the best new ride of 2020 in North America. 
Um, and I'm definitely loving um, the fact that, you know, they took what used to be Rubble, um, a non-existent coaster, it wasn't being used, um, Gwazi, and they transformed it into this amazing new con um, hybrid coaster. So we can't be upset about it. So definitely super excited. As enthusiasts, you know, we tend to overanalyze everything and tear it apart. Again, this is a park that just announced an amazing coaster and uh, definitely super excited to get on it. And I think we all should be as well. And we should stop overanalyzing every little detail. Every park has those coasters where the names don't necessarily make that much sense. The theme doesn't make that much sense. And maybe this will end up being one of those, but it's still going to be an amazing coaster. So um, I think we definitely need to maybe take off our enthusiast hats um, and uh, see things from the general public's point of view a little more when parks announce coasters like this. Again, Orion was another example. We overanalyzed it. We were upset that they didn't break the records due to Millennium Force, but it's still an amazing coaster no matter what. Um, that's pretty much all I really have to say. Again, I don't know the entire layout, and I'm not super talented in Planet Coaster and No Limit, so I can't sit here and make you um, a full layout um, analyzing Quasi. I know there are some out there, um, but, um, I can't personally do that again. It's definitely going to be one of the best coasters of 2020. Um, and I absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my analysis of this coaster. I'm not super enthusiast, so I can't go into details about the types of inversions and the forces you're going to feel and all that. All I know is it looks super awesome. The inversions are going to be awesome. Um, and it looks like an amazing coaster. Again, hopefully you enjoyed my video and views on Iron Gwazi. And hopefully you have some similar views as well. I don't like when I see a new coaster announced and it gets completely overshadowed by something as simple as a name um, or color scheme or something like that. It's going to be an amazing coaster. Let's all go ride it um, in 2020. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.